They haven't adequately secured the building. Surrounded by weeds and trash, Birmingham's first schoolhouse is teaching the consequence of neglect. City Councilor Darrell O'Quinn drives by it each time he heads to City Hall. How much of an eyesore is it for your district? Literally from almost the minute that I won the election in 2017 um, to this point, I've Folks have been asking me about it. Built in 1888, the Powell School, named after the city's first mayor, finally closed in 2002. This is a, you know, iconic structure in the city of Birmingham, um, one that, you know, untold hundreds have come through and gone on to do great things. Then, in 2011, flames gutted much of the building's core, but left all of its outer brick shell intact. Unfortunately, you know, the building, you know, continues to deteriorate uh, while folks are trying to figure out what to do with it. Four years after the fire, officials announced a deal with the Atlanta firm Integral Group to save the 120 plus year old building. But even after that agency qualified for a $3.7 million federal HUD grant, the old schoolhouse is still in shambles six years later. An Integral Group spokesman says they never received the grant money and have not been involved in the project in several years. According to tax records, the site is owned by the Alabama Trust for Historic Preservation. That is one of the city's great landmarks. Beau Grenier is the trust's attorney. He said the deal with Integral fell through about three years ago. They had some requirements that were just unique to them, some conditions that they had to get resolved. They just never could quite get them resolved. Grenier said money has been spent to replace the charred roof and repair load-bearing walls. Finding someone to save the towering academic time capsule is next. We're actively pursuing it and, and are hopeful that we can, you know, do something out there that everybody would be pleased with. Crews have cut back the weeds since we spoke with Councilor O'Quinn. Do you think this building is redeemable? I do. Uh, it's it's going to take a lot more than would be required of building a new building. An investment to preserve a key piece of Birmingham's past. John Papke, WVTM 13, investigates.